Yo, what up, my name is Derek. In today's video, I'm gonna talk about how to make money doing Airbnb. Now, if you don't know what Airbnb is, essentially it is kind of like a hotel where you uh, rent out a place for like a vacation period. So like, you know, a couple days or a week or a couple weeks, maybe even a month um, or for like summer or something like that. But you pretty much rent out a house at and you live into a, live in a house for a certain period of time, kind of like a hotel. Uh, the way it works is that you go to a website called Airbnb, which looks like this. And all you do is you select where you want to stay, how long you want to stay. And then um, you choose which house you want to stay at, whether it has a pool, whether it doesn't have a pool, whether it's on a beach, whether it doesn't have a beach, things like that, that are pretty important when figuring out where you want to stay for your vacation. And so I'm going to talk about how you can start your own Airbnb, pretty much wherever you live. But I would recommend sticking to a location that's more of a vacational uh, area or maybe on like a lake or something like that because people will always want to go to places on a lake if they've never been on a lake or they just want to go and see kind of how the area is or maybe it's a very popular area or very rich area they want to stay there for a couple of days and usually if you are on a lake or on a beach or in a certain location you might be able to charge a little bit more per night to make a little bit more extra cash so i'm going to show you guys how to set that up how to find the prices and all that stuff now we're going to go on the uh, airbnb website here and we're just going to look up an area. Now, I'm going to go into, let's just do Arizona. Phoenix, Arizona. And I'm just going to go the end, or the, start, the, the yeah, the first week of June or something. Let's go, let's go actually uh, the 5th. Uh, yeah, let's just do that. Let's do these four days or five days here. And we're going to go to guests. And we're just going to do like four adults or something, three adults. We're gonna search and this will find us a map pretty much that shows us and also a list right here that shows us places that we can stay in this area. So this is Phoenix, Arizona. And you can see we have a lot of different options on where we wanna stay and where we can stay. And you can see on the left side here, this is where all the houses that you can stay at or all the places that you can stay at. Now all these look pretty nice, um, but I'm gonna go with this one cause it's got a pool right here. We're going to click on it here. Once we click on it, you can see pictures of the house. So we have a pool. We have uh, kind of just what it looks like in the inside and the outside and stuff like that. It looks like a decent house. Pretty pretty nice, right? You can see here that um, the interior, like the furniture like or the appliances, like this stuff is not that expensive. Like this isn't the most expensive um, sink, you know, microwave and stuff like that. It's kind of like cheap stuff. Same with the flooring. So that's something to keep in mind that some people, what they do is they'll buy a house for cheap and then they'll renovate it, but they won't go super crazy. And they'll just kind of put a couple like things to make it look good. As you can see in this one, um, there's nothing wrong with this house. It's pretty, pretty cozy. Uh, this bathroom is pretty nice. Say this bath, this, this is probably the best area right here, but we're not here to look at the area. We're looking to see uh, how you can do your own and, and, and kind of make profit and make a lot of money, passive income through this. Now, um, one thing I'm going to say quick is if you want to like compare this to like rental properties and stuff like this, it's kind of like rental properties, except that um, th this, they also pay beforehand. So when you book, like if you ever book a hotel, you pay for how many nights you stay there, right? So if you say four nights, you put, you book four nights at a hotel. You don't book per night, right? It's, that works the same way with Airbnb. You don't book for one night. You book for every single night at once. So keep that in mind. Uh, for a rental property, usually how a rental property works is that you pay upfront fees like right then and there too, like per month. Like if you have a contract for a year, you pay per month, but you don't have to pay all the whole year. I mean, you don't, you can if you want to, but usually you don't do that. Um, so you're stuck with a contract for a year, but you only pay every single month. This you pay upfront and you can, you know, you could book for the next year, right? You could book for a year in advance and you'd still give that person the money and you'd still book that. So keep that in mind too, that people can book and you'll still make some profit if they book earlier, which they usually will if it is for like a vacation. Like if you live in, I, I live in Minnesota. So if I'm in Minnesota and I want to go during the wintertime, I want to go in Arizona for three months or something, right? I'm going to book for three months beforehand so that I'm the one that's able to get the house and other people can't get the house. You see what I'm saying? So keep that in mind. But you can see this one has a pool. It's nice and furnished, furnished and just looks really, really good. Now let's go to the pricing. So you can see right now it is on sale which kind of stinks for how we're going to figure this out, but it is a $201. I'm going to go with the base amount here. 
just because usually it's not on sale. It might, I don't know what the reason for the sale is. Maybe the guy's just um, trying to get people to get into the house. So maybe he's lowering this number, but I'm just going to go with this number because usually that number is what people pay. So $201 per night is how much these people are paying to stay at the house. Now you can scroll down, you can see right here. So it's $128 a night um, for four nights. Let's just do 201, but whatever. Uh, you have a cleaning fee and you have a service fee. Now keep in mind that these fees most likely uh, like somebody probably doesn't live next to this house or in even Arizona. They might live in like New York or Florida or something. And they're just paying for a cleaning um, company to go in there, clean the house, make it look good, and then have a couple services such as like gas and electricity and all that stuff for four days. That's usually what those fees are for. Um, and then the, the base value here, so this number right here is usually like a payment, like kind of like a mortgage that you would pay for like four days. And we'll get into that too in a second. So... Let's talk about a couple things. Uh, let's try to find the location of this too. So if you scroll down right here, you can actually see, um, it doesn't give you the exact location, but it gives you the area of where it's located. So you can see here now, it's kind of giving me like the exact area, but if we go to Zillow and we look in this exact area, uh, uh, area in Phoenix, Arizona. So if we scroll out, we're gonna try to find this exact location here. Um, actually, I'll do that real quick and then I'll be right back. All right, so I found pretty much the area that it is in, as you can see here pretty much in the area. Now, if we scroll in a little bit farther, you can see here that we get the prices of the houses. Now, these aren't the prices of the houses. These are estimations from Zillow, but usually these these prices are either lowballing or they're right on. Um, so if you ever looked at a house that's for sale anywhere on Zillow, um, Zillow will usually give an estimate and then you'll see the actual price of the house. I'll show you an example of that real quick. So if we just look at this random house here, you can see that the price is actually about $900,000. And if we click on it, it does give like an estimation and stuff like that. But if we go to like the surrounding houses, you can see the surrounding houses are around the same as this house. Now, some of them are like a million dollars. This one's like 1 1.8 or uh, that's just an estimate, estimation too. Um, but you can see usually the estimation is pretty spot on to what the house is around the area and the current house is, okay? So you can see the prices here are all all about 450 to like 500,000. Now, this house does have a pool. Okay? So it has like this um let's kind of get a better picture of this this pool here. So it's kind of like a weird shaped pool. It's honestly probably this one right here. Uh let's see if we get a picture here. It looks like this one. I think it is this one. So let's just take this one for example. So the estimation for the rent would be $2,100 and the estimated sale price, as you can see here, is about $481,000. You can see if we go and do $481,000 into a calculator and we divide that number by either 180 or 360 months, you can see that is the estimated payment. As you can see here, that's pretty much pretty spot on. Now, if they are charging that much, um, we, what we would like to do is we like to take this number and divide it by 30 because that's like the average days in a month. And you can see here, this is how much they pay per night if they had a 15-year mortgage and the house was $480,000 and that's what it would be right there. So about $89 that they pay every single night. And they're charging you, uh, let's go back here, they're charging you on sale currently $128 per night. So they're making a profit of about 40 or about $39. Now, let's just say this is the base value, right? This is the base number, right? They're making almost, they're making 1.5x pretty much of what um, they're charging. So you're, they're paying $89 a month. Now, yes, I understand there's also property taxes and there's also a bunch of other, you know, fees that there probably is in these areas. Now, there's some locations where property tax is low. I don't know what it is in Arizona. I kind of just selected Arizona because it was more of a vacational area. Um, but some states have lower property tax than other ones. You'll have to look that into yourself. But I will say, I'll tell you right now that this is how a lot of these people make money. Now, we don't have to go with this house either. You can see some of these aren't even on sale. Like this one's like $94 a night. Now, I will say right now that some of these houses might even be cheaper when it comes to per night. Now, the reason why I say that is because there's a possibility that somebody bought a house, they lived in the house for 15, 20 years, paid off the house. Then what they did is they, you know, they said like, you know what, let's just make this house into an Airbnb. So they're not paying any more um, mortgage. They have no mortgage on the house. And what they did is they just fix it up and put it on Airbnb. And they're making $94 profit. Usually it's probably not $94 in profit, but it's probably like, I don't know, probably $70, $67 to $70 out of that $94 that they're making in profit. 
right? Because they still have to pay taxes. They still have to pay other property things for the house. I understand that. But I'm going to tell you right now, if some of these houses, if you look at like the Zillow and they're like, these numbers aren't adding up, they're not making a profit. Well, that might be because the house either sold for a lot less than what it actually says on Zillow. That's number one. Number two is a possibility that they could have already lived in that house, right? Or number three, they bought the house when it was very, very, very bad, like run down and they made it, they just kind of changed the way the house is. That's another possibility as well. So like this house looks good right here, right? But that doesn't mean the house wasn't already paid for and they're just putting the money there. So keep that in mind. Um, but a lot of these other houses you can see, like this one's $161 also on sale as well. But some of these aren't on sale, right? Not all of these are going to be on sale. And some of these are better than others. Like this one's $243. But who knows how much the price is for like everything else when it comes down to the house, right? Who knows how much it is to... Um, pay for like property taxes and stuff like this and in this area, right? Um, but I will tell you right now that um, these people make a lot of money on this, okay? If we take the numbers into account, right? Let's just do uh, 128 minus about $89. So 128 eight minus $89. That's $39 a night. Multiply that by 30. They're making about $1,100 off that house. Now, if we take the $201 one, and we, multiply, and we subtract the $89 there, multiply it by 30, they're making about $3,300. Now, like I said, the property taxes, I keep saying that because it is a big thing. Um, I would say they probably lose about probably 1000 off of that, maybe if not more. I don't know what it really is. Um, but here's pretty much how much money they make. I'd say about $2,000 how much they make per month. Another thing to keep in mind too is they're also charging you for a cleaning fee and a service fee. Now, that's probably just like, regulatory stuff right they're probably getting that extra 309 dollars in their um ch in their like bank account and they're not actually like giving you they're not actually paying for a cleaning service at all they're not paying for anything right that could be too right they could just maybe that 128 dollars maybe they have uh maybe what they're doing is they're doing 300 dollars uh they're doing 128 dollars a night they're only getting, you know, their mortgages, let's say everything is $100 a night. They're paying $128 a night that they're charging it. So they're making about $28. And then they're charging you also a clean fee and a service fee, right? So you see they're paying, they're, they're almost charging you double. I mean, if you take this number right here, 828, eight, or eight, not 828, 822, and you divide it by four nights, right? So you're really only, you're really charging $205 a night, right? So keep that in mind as well. Um, now, I think if you change this to have a longer stay, I'm pretty sure fee goes up. The fee did go up, I think, by not not a lot. Um, but I don't know if you change any of this stuff, there's going to be more fees. I don't know if you add like fat, not fats, pets or anything like that. I don't know if that fee will go up. Probably will. So keep that in mind as well. Um, but you can see the number also went down if you stayed more nights as well. So, I mean... You're getting a little bit low, low less if you're staying for a little bit less days. So if we do, let's say we only stay for three days. Hmm. Wait a second. I think somebody just, <laughs> this is funny. So I think somebody just um, took these days. Or maybe not. Well, it's four night minimum. That's why. Okay. So you can see that the numbers are the exact same. But this is a little bit higher than what it was. So there, it is a discount if you do stay for more nights. Um, but that's essentially what you do. You'd buy a house. So, for example, we bought this house right here or one of these houses here. Then what we do is we Airbnb it. So if it's $2,100 a night or if you're paying – not $2,100 a night. If you're paying like $2,500 in the mortgage, right? Now, keep in mind you can do more than 15 years. You could do 20. You could do 25. You could probably do 30 years as well. Um, so keep that in mind. You can always choose how many nights or how how long the mortgage is. I mean if you're still making, if you're if you're doing 30 years – that's a lot of that's a long time, but at the same time, like if you're making a decent amount of profit and you're you're splitting your mortgage in half, but you're still making even more profit. I mean, why not do that, right? Um, I would also it also depend on the interest rates too. You probably don't want crazy interest rates for that price range. But let's just say like two thousand dollars is your mortgage. You divide that by thirty. That's how much you would pay per per day or per night. You what however you want to say it. Um, in terms of your mortgage, and then you multiply this number by uh, probably like two to see that's how that's pretty much what you would charge people. 
plus the service fees. So you're making even you're probably making like 200 bucks. You're probably charging 200 bucks. You're probably making like at least 100 bucks in profit. So there's a lot of potential in this. This is pretty much how rental properties work too. Um, you buy a house and then you upcharge it per month. So if the mortgage is two thousand dollars, you'd rent it out for probably twenty five hundred bucks and you make a five hundred dollar profit. Now, like I said, there's property tax, there's still a bunch of fees and that type of stuff too. So keep that in mind. But those are all numbers that you need to get in like calculate once you have figured out how to do these things. Um, they take a lot of learning to understand how they work and you'll have to do a lot of research about like property tax of the current location and stuff like that. So keep that in mind as well. Um, but this stuff is pretty good. And and one of the things I'm going to say that just to kind of close this video out is if you do this for like 15 years and you pay out the house and you charge maybe a little bit less, maybe like 75% uh, of what you were charging, let's say you were charging 100 bucks. Now you're only charging $75. I mean, you're still making a lot of profit, right? You're not even charging mortgage anymore. You don't have a mortgage fee anymore, but you're still charging a decent amount of money per night. And you're you're making even more money and so if let's just say for example your mortgage is two thousand dollars a month and you're making two thousand dollars in profit once that mortgage is gone you're making four thousand dollars in profit now instead so you're making even more money that same thing happens with rental properties as well or you could just sell the house off to one of the two but anyways i hope this helped you in understanding how airbnbs work and how to find um prices and how to see how much people make off this stuff because there is a huge market for airbnbs um, and what I would recommend you do is if you do want to get into something like this, I'd recommend going to a location that's located in either Florida or Phoenix or maybe Cali, Texas. But I would also look at property tax because I know California probably has a super high um, property tax and whatever tax they have or whatever stuff there. So you'd have to look into that too. But anyways, I hope, we, hope this helped you in any way. Uh, if it did, please hit that like button. Subscribe if you want more content like this. I will be uploading um, here and there. Um, about all types of content, passive income, make money online, and all those. But anyways, hope you guys like the video, and peace out.